In 2020 and 2022, Republicans swept statewide elections and made gains in the Montana legislature. Montana Democrats say that's in the background as they focus on reaching voters this time around. We also look back to two years ago in our legislative races, and so a lot of folks recognize that things need to change. Chair Robin Driscoll says the party got started earlier than they have in the past to recruit candidates. And she says with interest from donors in Montana, plus the attention on Senator John Tester's re-election campaign, they've been able to invest in a voter outreach effort called Big Sky Victory. They've reported bringing on 3,000 volunteers, knocking on more than 100,000 doors, and making more than 180,000 phone calls. We have, you know, people really excited about our legislative candidates and our candidates up and down the ballot. We have spent a lot more time in rural Montana and Indian country than we ever have. In 2022, the statewide voter turnout was 61 percent in the general election. But in four counties that cover parts of reservations, turnout was lower than 50 percent. We've been there a lot longer this time. The folks that are working in Indian country are Native American, and so they are able to talk to their friends, neighbors, and family a lot easier. Driscoll says Democrats' efforts are also going to include encouraging same-day registration on Election Day and absentee ballot collection. In 2021, the legislature passed laws ending same-day registration and directing a ban on paid ballot collection. Montana Democrats were plaintiffs in a lawsuit challenging those laws, and the Montana Supreme Court struck them down earlier this year. Why would you not want everybody who is registered or who is the right age to to register to vote, why would you not want them to vote? Secretary of State Christy Jacobson has filed a petition asking the U.S. Supreme Court to rule on whether the Montana Supreme Court overstepped their authority when invalidating those election laws. But they didn't ask for emergency consideration, so there wouldn't be a decision before this year's election. In Helena, Jonathan Amberian, MTN News.